It's interesting to think about what would happen if we weren't here. We're treating 12,000 people a year. I don't really know what would happen if we weren't here, but I'm grateful we are because we're treating the patients that need to be treated that otherwise I don't think would be. My name is Ben Kellum. Uh, I'm the program director here at Foundry Dental Center in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, we are a one-year AGD residency that's also a Christian nonprofit. So we've been here for about 10 years now. Um, we serve about 12,000 patients a year. Um, and we're serving primarily drug recovery patients. Started about 10 years ago, we had two dentists that were treating people out of a very small building. They called it uh, Fix It Friday for $50. So if you had $50, they'd fix anything they could in an hour. So uh, that kind of is how things started. We had uh, drug recoveries that were in the area that really had a huge need. And so we started seeing those patients and immediately realized that there was no way we could see the full extent of those patients. So that's where the residency came in. And once we expanded the residency, we're now seeing uh, hundreds of patients a week, 12,000 a year. So one thing that was amazing is when we got to the moon ray, um, we really didn't expect it to change our practice here as much as it has and change the clinic as much as it has. We've almost completely changed most of our workflows to accommodate the 3D printing. Um, because of its cost effectiveness, its speed, its accuracy. So we can do dentures at a lower cost. We can have surgeries be more accurate because surgical guides uh, without the extreme cost of paying for labs to make those. Um, we can do uh, really a, a wide range of things now and incorporate it into our workflow in a way that's uh, cost efficient, that's time efficient, and that also creates a great result for the patient. So really it's just opened up uh, doors of ways to do things that uh, really were limited to us before. So a patient that couldn't afford to get a full mouth wax up or couldn't afford to get a denture, an immediate denture, can really now have the opportunity to get the quality um, situation for them that they couldn't before. It really did take about 20 or 30 minutes to learn the basics of printing. I was nervous at first about even letting the residents use the printer. I thought we were going to have to put it in a special place and hide it away and just have one person that would use it. And I, I very quickly realized that really any of them can use it well and get great results with very little training. I've really been surprised. I expected to have a lot more difficulty of fine-tuning the printer to be able to get it to get results consistently. That was something I was really worried about because I, I thought it would be a very finicky, fickle machine and it really right, right out the box was giving me great prints. So that was a big surprise to me. So really it's just about incorporating to our workflow and seeing if we can uh, treat 12,000 patients worth of people with 3D printers.